The new VE Python API allows users to interact with a VE model using the Python programming language. A number of Python scripts are now available to download on the new VE content store. These Python scripts have been developed to allow users to automate the reporting of model inputs and results. Let's take a quick look at some of them now. The PRM results script shows a breakdown of the results of a PRM analysis in an Excel sheet. We'll hit this button here to run the script. The results of the proposed and baseline simulation files are written into these two tabs here. The script automatically checks if there are one or four baseline orientations and it'll calculate the average baseline results if necessary. Monthly energy and energy costs are compared in these two tabs here. These results are illustrated in the form of pie charts and graphs. The main tab gives a full breakdown of the proposed and baseline PRM results, including total energy and energy cost savings, the savings for each end use, the peak power values for the proposed and baseline, energy use intensity, breakdown and comparison for each fuel, the proposed and baseline, energy and energy cost, and the baseline uh, process percentage cost. You'll see that the whole Excel sheet is constructed using Excel formulas. Every item in all of these tabs relates back to the original proposed and baseline energy tabs here. It's very easy to check how these calculations are performed. And also if you change any value in either of these tabs, the main results in the rest of the tabs should get recalculated also. The Apache Systems Report script generates a Word document showing all of the data associated with each Apache system that's assigned in the model. As the report is presented as a Word document, once it's been generated, you're free to customize it in any way you like. You can copy and paste the tables into another report even. All of the data for each Apache system in the model is laid out neatly in a table. If there are more systems in the model, then can be presented in one single table, the script will automatically split them into separate tables and lay them out again in a neat fashion. EHW systems are shown also. The construction script generates a similar looking report, this time giving a breakdown of all of the constructions assigned to the model. The first page here gives a summary of all of the constructions assigned in the model, as well as the area of each construction in the model. After that, we get a detailed breakdown of all of the layers in each construction, as well as the U value, the total thickness, and the total area. The thermal template script, again, uses the same format as the previous two scripts, this time it gives a detailed breakdown of the most important data associated with each thermal template in the model. We can see in the Word report there's a section for each thermal template that's in the model. Each section contains information on the internal gains, the space conditions and the air exchanges. The VE Compliance script combines parts of the last three scripts to produce a report showing a comparison of the systems, constructions and thermal data for an actual and notional or reference building. To find these VE scripts and more, visit the IES content store. If you require mentoring to develop your scripting skills or need us to design a script for your specific needs, contact IES Consulting.